Um, what's your view about what's happened and how are your constituents feeling about it? Well, the, the government's fiscal event, uh, I think, first and foremost, is very necessary. It's the right policy. Because the alternative, of course, is that we carry on with high spending, high taxing, low growth and eventually stagnation. And what the government is trying to do is to stimulate growth sustainably into the long term. And I think that's the right policy. I think where it's come unstuck a little bit is because it's been misinterpreted uh, in the markets. There, it wasn't accompanied by an OBR forecast. I think in hindsight that was probably a mistake. Uh, but the Chancellor has been very clear that the OBR forecast is going to be presented to the House on the 23rd of November. Uh, the markets have stabilised since then. Uh, there was a run on the pound, uh, the dollar in particular, is doing it, but that's very strong against all currencies. So that's true of the euro, it's true of the yen, etc. Um, the pound has recovered, so the markets have now stabilised. So I think the long-term prognosis is good. If the government get this right in terms of the growth strategy, it will lead to a very, very big um, positive indication to the rest of the country. Interest rates are going to go up. I mean, we know that. What are your constituents saying about how that's going to impact well, their rates, house purchases, their sure. interest, uh, um, interest rates and payments? People are understandably concerned about interest rates, but what people need to realise is that with inflation sitting at 10%, an interest rate rise was inevitable. And um, what the government are trying to do is to minimise that. So the government had to act in the time like that they did because the last sitting Friday, which was uh, Friday of last week, was the last date at which they could introduce their energy measures, which are very important. And the reason why that's significant is that on the 1st of October, the price cap was going to rise. So the government had to in intervene in the energy market on the date that they did. That in itself is going to bring inflation down by probably around about 5%. So that will in turn reduce the rate of the interest rate increases that we'll see in the longer term. Um, Gareth, do you have a mortgage? Yeah. Are you worried about it? Well, of course. I mean, when interest rates rise, everyone is worried about their mortgage. Um, but to correct a couple of the points that you made there, I mean, firstly, nobody in the government has talked about trickle-down economics. Nobody at all. Uh, that is something the media have talked about. It's something that Joe Biden has talked about. It's something the Labour Party has talked about. That is not the government's policy at all. Um, secondly... So what impact will that money then have if it's not going to... It's going to generate economic growth. The but, so the point of, uh, as I said at the beginning of the, uh, of the programme, the government's policy is to try to increase economic growth in this country. We've had, and what, we're not trying to reinvent the wheel either. So prior to the financial crash in 2008, for the 20 or so years since the Lawson budget of 1988, economic growth in this country averaged around about 2.5%. Since the financial crash, it has averaged about 1.8%. So what the government is trying to do is take it back to 2.5% over a five-year period. If that happens, the tax receipts that the government will receive are going to be in the order of £47 billion extra. So the point of growing the economy and sending all the right signals that will grow the economy is that there will be more money for the government to spend on public services and the, con and the economy will be much, much better balanced. How do okay. tax cuts for the wealthy then? What's the point of them? Because How do they grow the economy? Because what you're trying to do is send out the message. See, well, the wealthy people, it's not just people earning £150,000. These people are wealth creators, they employ people. They set up businesses that need supply lines that employ more people. You've so as the country who grows... cannot get to work because they can't afford... But as the country the, grows... The, the, uh, travel fees, those are the people that should be supported, not but an extra 55,000 for people who are the, over The point a I just made, Georgia, is it's not just 55,000 people who earn over a billion pounds. Um, what we're actually talking about is growing the whole of the economy. The tax cuts the government have put forward benefit everybody. The basic rate they cut benefit of tax the benefits... They the benefit basic rate the cut, Everybody pays basic rate of income tax. It benefits them. The um, national insurance cut benefits everybody. If they and cut, that's going to be eaten up and increased mortgage If the economy fees. grows then it's going to benefit everyone. And on the point about mortgage fees, uh, meaning, of course, um, interest rates, they were going to rise anyway. You can't have inflation at 10% and not have interest rates. So you don't agree that they're likely to now rise even more because of the government's actions last week? No, I don't, because the government's today. action, the intervention in the energy so market... So why did will, half of the, the intervention mortgage products if I may finish go the point, Georgia, at the end of that week? If I could finish the point. The intervention in the energy market will cut inflation by 5%. So, of course, that means that there's less pressure to raise interest rates higher. So the government's plan actually is the right one. Where it may have gone slightly awry is the way okay. it's being communicated. Okay, Richard. Do you feel that that hasn't been um, really discussed, it hasn't been communicated properly, and perhaps there wouldn't be such a negative reaction if it had been communicated better? There's something in that. I mean, I, I think that um, it would be a foolish man who sat here and said, in retrospect, could that have been done in a different way? I think it could. Um, and the Chancellor has said that the OBR forecast and the um, extra measures that he's going to announce are going to be rolled out gradually, culminating on the 23rd of November. So, yes, that, that information is going to be in the public domain. 
in his speech, which hasn't been particularly widely reported, he did report on a lot of stuff about how we're going to attempt or whether there's going to be things that are released that show how we're going to increase productivity, because Richard is completely right. Productivity in this country has not been where it needs to be for at least the last 20 years. And the government knows that it needs to improve both if we want to get the economic growth target that they set themselves. How concerned are you by the latest polling that puts Labour way ahead of the Tories right now? Well, a Conservative politician that's content to be behind in the opinion polls is, is not going to last very long. So, of course, I am concerned. But this is a bit of a, a blip in reaction to a bad six days. OK, we'll see. Thank you very much, Richard. Good to see you. Thanks for coming in.